Bochner Institute is the largest musculoskeletal institute in Europe. We are based on the same site as one of the Oxford University hospitals, the Nuffield Orthopaedic Centre. To try and bring basic and clinical scientists together. To translate discoveries to patient care. Looking really across lots of different musculoskeletal diseases. We have a great breadth here. It's everything from discovery science through to technology innovations, assessing new novel treatments through health data science and through clinical trials. Early phase research, from time to time, you do come up with something really, really exciting and you can see how that's going to make a real difference for large numbers of patients down the line. One of the exciting new techniques available is the ability to use electronic devices to collect continuous data. We use data for two purposes. One is what we call repurposing, which is looking at existing treatment and seeing whether they can have new effects. On the other end, once a new medicine has been approved, we need some monitoring of the safety of that product when it's used by populations that haven't been trialled before. Just collecting more data doesn't mean that you necessarily get better insight. And so one of the things that we're really working on is to think about how we collect information in order to be able to make decisions about how patients should be treated. We became doctors for the most part because we wanted to influence people's lives and try and make people better. And the research is an extension of that. I'm really lucky to work with patients every week in clinic and to support them through quite difficult times. So we set up a group called open arms and gives us a chance for patient and public members to just interact with researchers to ask questions about the research that we're doing. Our biggest achievements have been in our translational research field to run clinical trials. Over the last 10 years, a number of those trials are saving the NHS millions of pounds per year. Our work on different novel ways to monitor the safety of vaccines was used by many, many regulators around the world, including the US FDA, the European Medicines Agency, and nationally the MHRA, basically giving them information on the safety of all these vaccines by utilizing these large uh, data sets was quite novel. And then we have our biomanufacturing facility and offers us some fantastic opportunities to collaborate with colleagues across the university, across other universities and, and with industry. We are looking at physical techniques to try and actually disrupt bacteria without needing to use drugs at all, for example uh, ultrasound. We also do a lot of work on encapsulating the drugs in little particles that improve the penetration into these biofilms so we get a really high concentration of the drug to the bacteria and hopefully wipe them out the first time so they don't have a chance to evolve and become resistant. One of the things that's been important for my career is having mentorship opportunities. It's an environment that's really conducive to supporting the type of research that we want to do. There are fantastic opportunities on the horizon for the next generation of scientists and clinicians wanting to work in the musculoskeletal sciences. I think our future is very bright in that sense. So besides research, teaching and training is clearly a really important part of any university department. If students are interested in research opportunities, then they can pursue a DPhil. There are opportunities to do shorter research projects as well. The department offers part-time taught MSc in musculoskeletal sciences. This course gives these students a, a great grounding to, to go on and pursue either further postgraduate study or, or further clinical specialist training. So I think it will be fascinating to see how the department grows, how new members of the team coming in really bring new ideas, new projects and how we work better together across all of the institutes to do the best research that we can in the future.